very very high pigmentation you guys see that oh my gosh shut up do these not have names on them let's add a lip liner to this oh my gosh i'm i feel like i'm gonna lose my mind right now was elf trying to dupe the hourglass ones because if they were Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina, and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. ELF has just released a brand new lip product for us. They are the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens. That is a tongue twister. I have all of the shades except for the clear ones, so today we're going to be swatching them. I'm going to review the formulation for you guys and let you know what my first impressions are. So if this is something that interests you guys let's get started okay as always let's go ahead and get into the specs of these before we start the swatches so they come in eight different shades if you include clear as a shade if not then there are seven they retail for eight dollars it says that these are a nourishing lip plumping gloss delivers sheer color and shine it says that it's a tinted moisturizing lip plumping gloss with a cooling sensation that gives you a smooth glossy and plumped out pout drenches lips in sheer color and glossy shine non retractable click pen so that's nice that they included that easy and precise application non-sticky formula with smooth glide application it says it has blueberry fruit extract watermelon fruit extract as well as pomegranate fruit extract it doesn't say anything about being long wearing so that's already out of the way i have not heard anyone talk about these just yet they launched last week like late last week i purchased them the day that they launched and i just got them in the mail today so I thought I would go ahead and get this video up for you guys in case you're kind of like waiting to see what the shades might look like on you Oh my gosh, shut up. Do these not have names on them? Elf, what is going on, dude? Their lip liners did not have names on them and I thought that was so silly And these don't have the names on the actual packaging here, but they do have them on the stickers But guys these stickers, I don't know if maybe my eyes are giving out Maybe i'm at that age now where I can't see anything, but these are the tiniest stickers ever and it's in white font so naturally I can't read that at all I'm pretty sure it says the shade name on there but there's like no way that I'm gonna be able to read that that's crazy I hate that I actually really really hate that they should have put the the name on like the actual crayon right here or something like that so I'm just going to open up the packaging but like leave them in the boxes I guess I know that might not be a big deal for a lot of you guys especially if you're only buying one or if the shades are very different from each other but for me i wish that it was just more clear you know okay so instead of starting with the lightest shade i actually want to start with the shade that i think is going to be my favorite just so i get like the full effect of it whenever we're testing out like the formulation of this so this is the shade toasted so the inside part of it does match the color of the lipstick it's that nice precise applicator let's do a little swatch on the back of the hand oh my goodness did you guys see that that is so creamy wow that's like full pigmentation super creamy i love that let's see does it have a scent it doesn't say anything about having a scent and i can't tell let me just wipe off my lip balm now let's go ahead and apply this to the lips it's smooth glides on effortlessly very very high pigmentation you guys see that i did like two swipes whoa she's pigmented she's pigmented and very glossy very shiny oh i do smell a little bit of like a chemical scent but it's not bad and i can already feel the minty tingle to it you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of the juvia's place wet stick glosses as i'm talking guys do you see like i have little strings of product kind of like on the corners of my mouth right here i'm just gonna open and close my mouth real quick so you can kind of see the product seems like it's already starting to goop a little bit i'm just gonna take my finger do that thing to get off any of the excess product here because the formulation is thicker and glossier i think that is a pretty common issue with these if you don't mind that or if you don't typically have that issue like where things goop around then i don't think it'll be bad for you i can kind of taste it maybe it's the minty aspect to it but it definitely has a little bit of a chemically taste to it not as bad as the juvia's place wet sticks if you guys tried those out i posted on my instagram and tiktok a video of me swatching all of those shades so check that out if you're interested and i did like a mini review on them but you can definitely taste those this one it tastes 
taste similar. However, I'm not getting too much of that taste in my mouth. But as I was talking, I did kind of get a little bit in there. I don't know, maybe it's just the amount that I put on and I'm not getting as intense of a flavor to it. But just keep that in mind. It doesn't taste like anything. It's just a little minty. Like it gives you a little bit of a minty sensation in the mouth. You can see it is a little bit more melty like around the corners right there. And I think that's important to note just so you guys have an idea of exactly how like melty and balmy these are. I usually like to wipe off the applicator when that happens so the whole thing doesn't get really messy. You know, I want to say that I would wear this alone and I wouldn't wear it with a lip liner, but honestly, if I'm looking at it, I think that I would wear a little bit darker of a lip liner on the outsides of my lips, maybe blend it in a little bit and then apply this color on top of it. I actually have a good amount of their lip liners here, so should we try it? Like, should we do a little lip combo? I want to do that. Like I said, I don't think that these have names on them. Every time I use them, I look at them and I'm like, am I just missing it? But no, there's no name on here. So unfortunately, I can't tell you which one is which, but I can show you. And I think I want to use this one right here. So that's what it looks like compared. Hopefully you guys can kind of like figure out which one this is. I'm so sorry, I feel so bad. But I'm gonna line the lips. If you're curious though, the lip liners are really good. They glide really nicely, but they're also a little bit harder, so they last a long time on the lips. All right, and then I'm going to put that shade Toasted right on top. Just a little bit, I think. These have pretty high pigmentation. Like the color payoff is really good. Oh yeah, I like this color combo. This is a really good color combo. Ooh, it looks so smooth and really nourishing on the lips. It's not emphasizing any of my fine lines on my lips. I think it looks really nice. It just looks very put together, nice and glossy. I like this amount of gloss. I think it's just enough to where it's glossy, but it doesn't look like it's super drippy on the lips. And I think that it blends super so well with whatever this lip liner color is. I think it's so pretty. I like it. I think it's a good formulation so far. Very nice start to this video. I like this a lot. Okay, let's remove her. Oh, and by the way, that one is described as a neutral beige. So now I'm gonna go in with Just Peachy, which is described as a light peachy pink shade. This one I think I'm definitely gonna need a lip liner with. The color payoff is definitely there. You can still see a little bit of the outlines of my lips here. And then when you rub your lips together, you do kind of get a little bit of that demarcation line, you know? But if you kind of tap your lips together, it seems okay. Here's the shade Just Peachy. Like I mentioned, this is a little bit too nude for me. I do like that it has that peachiness to it versus just being like a neutral cream type of nude. This one, because it has that peach, I think makes it a little bit closer to an actual skin tone, I guess. I think that for me, I would have to pair this with a lip liner. So let's go ahead and pick a lip liner out and try it. Out of these two, I think I'm gonna go for this one right here, this more pinky brown shade. And actually, I think I wanna deepen it up a little bit more and I'm gonna go in with that same shade that we used earlier. And I'm just gonna use this on the outer corners just to deepen it and give it a little bit more contour. Okay, and then for this one, I think I'm just going to go in and tap it in, not add too much. I think with this shade, the approach is best as less is more for me. Ooh, wait a second. Oh my goodness, yes. This looks so beautiful. It's like a kind of creamy pinky peach shade on the lips after I use those two lip liners with it. It looks nice and contoured it there's a lot of depth to it with those lip liners and i love the amount of gloss that it added to the lips i think there is the perfect amount of sheer wash of color whenever you kind of dab it in there and like blend it in with your finger you still get a pretty strong peachy pink shade to it and it's not too much like you can still see everything going on with those lip liners i like that a lot actually i was scared of that one but now i'm like really loving it next we have the shade pinky out which is described as a light nude pink it deposits a ton of pigmentation just so you guys know this thing is really really melty however when you press your lips together and when you kind of rub it with your finger it does blend out very nicely here is the shade pinky out definitely a very true light pink shade i definitely still think this is one of those shades where i would feel more comfortable wearing a lip liner with it just to deepen up the outer corners so there's a little bit more separation from my face and my lips if you're darker than i am and 
and you prefer to wear your lip colors the way I do, I would definitely suggest wearing it with a lip liner just to kind of get everything to blend in a little bit more naturally. All right, you know the drill. <laughs> Let's add a lip liner to this. For this one, again, looking at the nudes that we have here, I definitely want to stay in the pink family. So let's go with this one that has a little bit more of a pink undertone to it. I do want to add a little bit of this like darker kind of warm brown shade to the outer corners again. So I'm just going to do the bottom and tops of my lips and then the corners. Ooh, that's pretty already. And then again, I'm just going to take a, a small amount of this to swipe it. There you go. And then we'll build from there. Almost smells just like a sweet mint you know it actually smells like a sweet mint that you would eat so here is pinky out with the lip liners and again these lip liners are doing something for me like they are making these look even more elevated i love the finish of these and honestly whenever you go in with a thinner layer you don't get as much goopiness on the lips so i think that this works in my favor a lot more because one we do get that definition from the lip liner and also two we do avoid more of that goopiness that can happen with this type of of lip product. Next we have the shade Bust a Mauve which is a mauve shade and I'm excited for this one because I've been really enjoying my mauve tones recently. Hmm, I like this. This one I feel like is a little bit more sheer like I feel like I can do a couple more swipes. The other ones I feel like I went in maybe with a heavy hand or they were just generally more pigmented but this one I went in maybe two or three swipes on either top and bottom lip and actually I think that this looks really nice. I feel like I can still kind of see my natural lip color, especially on my bottom lip here. And there's very, very slight gooping on the center of my mouth, like with the other ones, you know? This is actually so beautiful. I don't even know if I need a lip liner with this. I would probably just wear this as is, to be honest. But just to see for a little bit of um, continuity, I guess, we'll go ahead and go in with a lip liner. This is the darkest one of the neutrals that I have here. So we're just gonna go in. I don't know if this is even gonna show Show up to be completely honest I feel like this is going to match it just right so let's try it yeah this like matches that color perfectly so here it is with that lip liner just because I'm curious I'm grabbing this brown liner from tower 28 it is in the shade draw me and I'm gonna outline my lips to see what it looks like with this um hello that's beautiful <laughs> I like this a lot more with a darker lip liner I think that it adds just that really nice dimension and change like that contrast you know I think that this one is actually really beautiful with or without a lip liner next up we have the shade plum on over and this is described as a berry tone that looks rich and saturated oh my goodness i love how these glide on really effortlessly there's a little bit of like thickness a little bit of stick to them but they glide like butter honestly this is a beautiful berry tone i think it's a little bit of a brighter one so you can definitely see that there are brighter pinks and purples within this like it's not going to be a dark berry shade so for me i'm not sure if this is something that i would personally reach for a lot because these pops of colors i don't really go for on a day-to-day -day basis this definitely seems like an occasion type of lipstick for myself but i do feel like this would look so gorgeous on everybody like this is a really pretty pop of color for everyone because it has those tones of pink and it has those tones of purple in it so it kind of balances really nicely seems like it kind of stained my lips too do you guys see that next is the red in the collection this is called red my mind and it's described as a sheer red based on that swatch it's definitely giving sheer right here's red my mind and honestly i don't know why but i'm surprised that they went with a sheer tone red but i'm not mad at it i really like this i like how it's kind of like a just bitten sort of lip stain kind of thing like this really reminds me of just a glossy lip stain but in the pen form so that's really nice if you prefer something that's a little bit more nourishing than something like a stain like a glossy stain then i feel like you could kind of achieve that same look with this but you do get that added benefit of it being a little balmy a little nourishing on the lips as a sheer red you know i feel like more people will be 
be gravitating towards it, wearing it more often, since it's not gonna be like an in-your-face type of red. I know a lot of people do really enjoy very bold reds, but personally, for my style, this is something that I think that I would consider more than wearing a bold red. I wanna try blotting some of it off and seeing what it looks like if I just dab. That's pretty, I really like that. Obviously, you don't get as much shine as you would if you did a full on swipe here, but that pigmentation, really, really strong, even though it's sheer, it's still very pigmented and it's even throughout. I really like that it's not blotchy or anything. Again, you still get that minty feeling of the pen. I'm pleasantly surprised by this one. I didn't think that I would enjoy this one as much as I do. And lastly, we have Wicked Cherry, which is described as a black cherry shade. And because I wanna test out the sheerness of this, I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did with the red one. I'm gonna blot it and then kind of smear it with my fingertip and blend it out before we go in with the full pigmentation to see what that looks like. I love, love this. This is what I want all my glossy stains to look like, you know, like the K-Beauty Asian Beauty glossy stains. Sometimes when they're described as a brown, but they pull more red, I'm like, dang it. This, this is what I have in my head. This is what I have on my mind whenever I think like I want a glossy brown neutral stain this is gorgeous this is beautiful i had no doubt about this one though because i feel like black cherries are just they're underrated but when you actually put them on i feel like it's always just mind-blowing how it looks on the lips you know i love the amount of shine i still have i love how it was able to kind of just like blend out with my finger i like wearing it like this i think because again we're we're avoiding that goopiness so now i'm going to apply it full on so we can see just how pigmented this one gets oh my gosh i'm i feel like i'm going to lose my mind right now because this is giving me okay i'm going to pop up some photos of like what some asian beauty lip stains like glossy lip stains look like and how wet they look but also how diffused they look on the outer corners and this is giving me that look without having to work for it like i can just swipe this on fully and i feel like i'm getting that exact look that i really want from some glossy lip stains oh my goodness i love it i love how it kind of looks like the pigmentation is encapsulated within the watery texture of the lip product like sometimes it looks like a lipstick topped with a gloss but this one it kind of looks like the pigmentation is floating within the gloss does that make sense i feel like in my head just now that made a lot of sense but who knows it could mean nothing to you guys this one my favorite hands down all right so those were all of the swatches guys now let's do a quick mini review i talked through the swatches so you got a lot of my first impressions and like my first thoughts on all of these overall i love these i think they're so good and i love the shade range that they came out with i think that they hit everything that they needed to without like repeating any one shade of course i can always go for more nude shades but maybe that'll come later so as far as the formulation goes i think I think it's a beautiful formulation it is very on par with those high-end glossy bombs and it also does rival the juvia's place wet sticks i really like this format i'm not partial to like this longer pen format i do think that having it in this slimmer pen does make it easier to work with but either way i'm going to need to use a mirror to apply these because they can get a little bit messy just the nature of how glossy they are and how pigmented they are they're very very melty I personally probably wouldn't leave this in my car, especially being someone that lives in Florida. I most likely would come back with it completely melted, so keep that in mind. If anything, yeah, I do think that this would melt. I definitely think that you should only deposit the amount that you think you need, and if you need more, then you can click up a little bit more. Being $8, I think that is extremely affordable, and I personally, if I wasn't doing this video, I personally probably would pick up multiple shades. Like, my top ones, if I'm like just thinking right off the bat definitely wicked cherry i really enjoyed toasted and honestly i really like read my mind i think that these would like cover me for everything that i want like i have the nude and then i have a really nice like sheer red and i have this one if i want to wear it sheer or if i want to wear it a little bit more dramatic like this the minty feeling is not overpowering i don't think it's super distracting i really enjoy a minty lip product i don't know how much it does for my lips but 
I do like that refreshing feeling of them. It's not traveling into my mouth as much as other glossy products have in the past like for instance i keep bringing them up the juvia's place ones let me grab one actually so here is the juvia's place in the shade soft light and as you can see on this swatch right here it does deposit a lot of pigmentation or a lot of the product in general like it gets very very melty i for sure think that the elf ones do the same thing let me do a swatch here but I think what helps the e.l.f. ones kind of contain their shape and not deposit too much product is definitely that shape of it. So you do have this bullet. You can see clearly that the Juvia's Place ones are a lot larger because it's more of that traditional bullet lipstick. And I think because that's just a wider area of product, you are getting it deposited a lot more. So you do have to be mindful about that. And when you apply them, you just get more product on there. It can get a little bit thicker in areas, but it's super easy to just, you know, blend out just like that. And it's no big deal. You do just have to be a little bit more careful both of them are super usable but in saying that i think that is one of the reasons because it is this like traditional bullet shape i think it's one of the reasons why you tend to get more product on the lips and then it gets in your mouth a little bit more the juvia's place ones do taste worse to me they both have that underlying taste of like chemical you know like chemical lipstick but the elf one doesn't seem as strong i don't know if it's because i'm not getting as much of it seeping into my mouth or if it's just generally not as strong but you know I thought I would mention that in case you also experience that with the Juvia's Place ones. As far as the textures of them compared to each other I do think the textures are extremely similar. I can barely feel a difference with the textures here however I will say that the Juvia's Place ones do give off a stronger pigmentation here. I feel like I could use a lot less of the Juvia's Place product to get the same look and feel as the elf ones i just grabbed a couple more of the glossy bombs that like popped into the top of my head so here we have the tarte maracuja juicy lip plump this one is going to be in that crayon form you cannot retract these just like the elf ones and here is a swatch this is the shade honeysuckle right off the bat you can see it deposits a lot more sheer than the e.l.f. ones, but you can definitely build these up. They're not going to be as melty as the e.l.f. ones, surprisingly. I feel like this one kind of like didn't deposit a big chunk of the, the product on to the back of my hand. So they are a little bit more consistent and again, a little bit more sheer, but you can most definitely blend this out still. Oh, Texture wise, I kind of feel like the Tarte one feels slightly more oily. I don't know if it's because the e.l.f. one dried down, but this one feels like it has a little bit more tug to it. I feel like I'm just painting. <laughs> I'm just playing now. Yeah, I think the e.l.f. definitely has a little bit more tug to it. These all have a little touch of, I want to say stickiness, but it's not sticky. Like when you rub your lips together, you press them together. It's not like they want to stay pressed together. They just have a little bit more of a thickness to them. All of them have that. And the Tarte one just seems to have a little bit more oiliness to it. All right, and then let's compare the Hourglass Glossy Bombs to this. So these are probably the closest in size, I would say, but this one is a twist up and you can't twist it down. This is in the shade Trace, by the way. So this is very melty, more melty than the Tarte one, as you can see right there. Do the e.l.f. one compared to that. Oop, I just deposited a lot. I think I, I um, clicked up a lot of it. Okay, so here are those two. I, I think I took like an even amount of both products, so that's probably why they seem so goopy. As far as finish or opacity, I guess I should say, so that gives you, I would say that's like medium opacity right there, right? So it gives you a lot of pigmentation, but you can kind of still see the back of my hand right here if like you blend it out. Huh. They feel, out of all of them, I think these feel the closest to each other for sure. I'm trying to like <laughs> feel them at the same time. Yeah, these feel almost identical to me. I think these are probably the most similar if I had to choose. Similar in texture, similar in shape, probably the way that they feel on the lips because I know the hourglass ones are slightly minty. Maybe was Elf trying to dupe the hourglass ones because if they were, they did it. <laughs> Let's look at the ingredient list. So the main ingredients, like the top ingredients in them 
are very similar. Some of them come in different order, but they do have similar first like five to 10 ingredients here. I think the actual hy hydrating ingredients are different. So for instance, in the e.l.f. one, they do use a lot of fruit extract like watermelon, blueberry, and they also have castor seed oil. But the Hourglass one, they utilize kernel oil, mango seed butter, avocado oil, and shea butter. So they do have different hydrators in them, but overall they feel very, very similar. I think we have an alternative to the Hourglass Glossy Bombs, and honestly, I'm pretty excited about that. Hourglass does have a lot more shades. I think Tarte does as well, and Juvia's Place came out with a giant shade range whenever they came out with their wet sticks. I'm sorry, I keep calling them wet sticks. They're called Volumizing Gloss Sticks. I think a lot of people are going to really enjoy these as long as they're still enjoying those glossy sticks you know and i am like really excited about this i feel kind of silly about these because i'm like so much more excited than i thought i would be two thumbs up for me highly recommend this formulation i think it's beautiful i cannot wait to do more lip combos if you guys want to see me play around with these and do different lip combinations follow me on instagram and tiktok i like to do short form videos there i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if you're planning on picking any of these up or if you already did please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like like this one and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!